A princess lived in a luxurious castle. She was only 14 years old, but she was terribly spoiled and moody. Once she came up with something for April to come, and there were spring flowers at the New Year's banquet. She issued a decree in which she announced the beginning of spring and promised to generously reward the one who brings snowdrops to the palace. In a small house on the outskirts of the city lived a stepmother with her daughter and stepdaughter. The stepdaughter was a very sweet and kind girl, and her name was Masha. The stepmother and daughter were very lazy and angry, and they hurt the poor girl in every possible way. They really wanted to receive the reward promised by the princess, but they could not think of where to get the snowdrops in winter. The old woman decided to send Masha to the forest to bring them spring flowers. The stepdaughter began to beg her stepmother to take pity on her, because it was dark and cold outside. And what kind of snowdrops can there be in winter? But the greedy old woman did not want to hear anything. She gave a larger basket and drove Masha out the door. The frozen girl was very scared in a dark forest. Suddenly, in the distance, she saw a light. She was delighted and went to meet him. It turned out that it was a large blazing fire, and twelve people were warming themselves around it. Plucking up her courage, the girl approached them and told them that the evil stepmother made her go into the forest and collect snowdrops. It turned out that it was twelve months. The brothers felt sorry for Masha, and they decided to help her. Brother April chanted a spell, and suddenly spring came in the forest and in the clearing. The snow melted, green grass appeared, snowdrops blossomed. The girl began to collect flowers and soon filled a large basket with them. Young April liked her very much, and he gave her a magic ring. If trouble happens, he must be thrown to the ground, a spell cast, and all twelve months will come to the rescue. Oh, yeah. Masha thanked them and went home. When the girl brought the snowdrops home, the stepmother and daughter were very surprised at this. Masha was very tired from the journey and immediately fell asleep soundly. Her half-sister suspected something was wrong. While the girl was sleeping, she found her magic ring and took it to herself. After waking up, the stepdaughter discovered the loss. She began to beg to return the ring, but her stepmother and daughter did not want to hear anything. Taking a basket of snowdrops, they hurried to the royal palace. In the palace there was a magnificently decorated New Year tree. But the upcoming celebration did not please the capricious princess at all. And only when the stepmother and daughter brought her a whole basket of snowdrops, the princess changed her anger to mercy. The stepmother could not clearly answer where the flowers came from, and she had to admit that her stepdaughter had collected them. The princess immediately decided to go to the meadow with snowdrops. On the way, she looked to poor Masha, so that she would show her the place where she picked flowers. The girl said she would show it, but only if the ring was returned to her. From such insolence, the princess was angry and threw away the ring. But the stepdaughter managed to cast a spell. Immediately a strong wind rose, thunder rumbled, foliage fell, and snow began to fall. Old Man January appeared before them. He invited everyone to make one wish. Out of fear, the princess wished to be in the palace as soon as possible. Masha made a wish that everything would return to its place in due time, winter in winter, summer in summer. The stepmother and her daughter were so frozen that they wanted fur coats from any fur, even from a dog. Saying this, the greedy women immediately turned into dogs. They were harnessed to a sleigh on which the princess was to get to the palace. Masha thanked the brothers for their help. They promised to turn the stepmother and her daughter back into humans, but only when they become obedient. Months gave the girl a wonderful big sled, harnessed by frisky horses. Seeing them, the princess asked for a ride to the palace. It was the first time in her life that the princess had uttered the word please. And Masha gladly agreed. Once upon a time there was a little girl. Her name was Heidi. Heidi's parents died and she was cared for by Aunt Deet. But one day she had to take the girl to her grandfather. He was not very talkative, as he lived in a small house in the mountains. 
Andy found a job in another city, so she had to leave the girl with her grandfather for a while. The grandfather of the Alps is used to living alone far from people. Therefore, he was very happy with his granddaughter, but did not know how to show it. The old man arranged for her a small room in the attic. Heidi fell in love with her grandfather at first sight. A wonderful life in the mountains began for her. The day after arrival, Heidi met her grandfather's huge dog. She spent all her free time with him. One day, while walking the dog in the hills, she met the shepherd Peter, who was tending sheep in the meadow. The children became friends, and Peter began to take Heidi with him for walks in the mountains. Gambling all day, Heidi felt really happy. At the same time, she never forgot about her grandfather, and in everything she helped him around the house. One of her favorite things was to bake bread. Heidi brought it to Peter's mom, and she in turn, gave the girl fresh goat milk. Summer is over and winter has come. Peter started going to school. But Heidi was still too young for school. Therefore, Aunt Diet returned for her to take the girl to the city and teach her at home after work. The grandfather of the Alps was very upset, but still let the granddaughter go so that she could learn to read and write. Heidi was also very upset, but her aunt promised to return her to the mountains soon. Arriving in the city, the aunt took the girl to a large beautiful house. There Heidi met the girl Clara. She could not walk and moved in a chair due to an accident that she experienced in early childhood. Auntie brought Heidi to this house to keep Clara company because she had no friends. The girls got along well and became real friends. Clara helped Heidi learn to read and write. Having got used to the new place, the girl began to feel freer. Clara also became very attached to her. But Heidi really missed the mountains and her grandfather. She had everything one could dream of, but she felt like she was in a golden cage. She even stopped eating. Aunt Deed immediately understood why her niece was sad. And I decided to send her back to her grandfather. Clara was very upset that Heidi had to leave. But the aunt promised that Clara would be able to come and visit Heidi next year. A year later, Clara came to Heidi's. She met Peter and the children became very good friends. They walked a lot in the mountains, breathed fresh air, and ate natural food. But after some time, Peter began to worry that Heidi would again leave with Clara in the city. And then one day he threw Clara's wheelchair off a cliff. He thought that this would solve all the problems. But it turned out that without a wheelchair and thanks to the fresh mountain air, Clara became much stronger. And after a while she was able to walk at all. Hooray! And Deet could not believe her eyes. And Peter felt very ashamed of his act. He admitted that he had thrown Clara's wheelchair off the cliff. Of course the girls forgave him. And the happy friendship of the children has been preserved for life.